Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. How's everyone doing today? I hope your uh, your week is going well. Uh, mine certainly is. It's been a it's been a nice pleasant week. Finally, finally in that ramp down to the end. So uh, that's a good thing. Things are slowing down. Uh, the workload's decreasing a bit, and uh, but we're still getting stuff done. So. I've got a lot of vacation time to try to use up, and I'm not going to use it all. I think I'm going to start taking some time off. I'd like to take the whole week. I've just got meetings and such to deal with, and I'm going to be, after that, completely out for the rest. So that's nice. I'm looking turning off that part of my life for a couple of weeks and uh, getting on with other parts of my life. So I've got the uh, Wednesday basket pipe. Someone asked about the shape of this. I'd, I'd call that a bent Dublin. I don't know. Um, really enjoying some grab at the pouch. My brothers. And if you love Burley, I love five brothers. <clears throat> so been a been a slower week, which is nice. Still can't believe it. I found myself uh, yesterday, today, in this odd situation where I had you know, these short periods of time, a half an hour, an hour, and, and normally I would use those to, um, you know, maybe do some sanding or clean a pipe or something like that, but I didn't have any pipes because I'm still waiting for the uh, the first customer's pipe to arrive. That's another story. The uh, Postal Service is doing a fine job with that. Um, poor guy lives in Philadelphia, and it's taken, I think, five years. It still hasn't gotten here. I could have walked it there. Yeah, I probably could have walked it there. So, Jose, if you're watching, sorry, we'll, we'll get it as soon as it comes in, and I'm tracking it. It'll all be fine. So, what I decided to do with that time is actually work on some of my own pipes. Quite excited about this, because I haven't done it. I have, a, I have two pipes. These are actually two of my favorite pipes. Uh, this one is a Savinelli Hercules. I've seen me smoke this before. I love this pipe. It's got a nice deep bowl. It's does wonderful with burn. Um, if you ever have a chance to get one of these, the Hercules are, are, are fantastic bikes. Got a number. Actually, I'll tell you what the number is. One, one fourteen ex. Great pipe. Now the problem is, and and I've been noticing this for a while. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but. See a little shiny spot in there? Like a dark shiny spot? Not coming across real well right in here. That's been darkening up over the years. And when I get in there, I can't really find any evidence of a burnout. But recently, the past few times I've smoked it, I've noticed I'm getting tar on my hands. So what apparently we have there is a small imperfection in the briar. Uh, I don't think it's burning out because it's kind of far away from where the, um, the the majority of the heat would be. I think it's just weeping because over time the the tar has built up in the in the briar and it's found this uh, channel to go through. So I love smoking it, but I don't love getting pipe juice on. So the plan is to. Um, Drill it out to accept the piece of stainless steel tubing and put the stainless steel tubing in. Unfortunately, after I got it all uh, cleaned out and ready to go, I didn't have any tubing of the right size because I try to I try to choose that in a way that maintains the same airway diameter because I don't want to change the dynamics of how the pipe smoke. So I got that on order and uh, it'll be here in a couple days and then I can get that guy back into business. This one. This is really one of my favorite pipes. This is a Savinelli, uh, I should have left the glasses on. I think it's a 622. 
Yeah, 622. I love this shape. It's a, you know, I'd call that a pot. And it, this, again, for Barley, this is just one of the best pipes I've ever had for smoking bird. And for a long time, this was my uh, Friday pipe. You know, I, everybody's got a Friday 7 Ellie of one sort or the other. <laughs> and and this, this was mine. But unfortunately, I dropped it. And this is entirely my own boneheaded fault. And the stem just cracked right off. And so I need to make a new stem for it. You'll note it's got this stem adornment here, this gold or actually brass band. And that's important because I am quite proud of the, the job I've done in this replacement. Obviously, not in its final shape, but ready to be shaped. And when I put that in, you'll note there's just enough room for that gold band. Now, it doesn't really matter that much because it's a little bit shorter line. If it was a little, I could trim the tenon. But uh, I was aiming for perfect, and I think I got pretty darn close. So I'm happy about that. This is a, um, I believe this is called sand, and it's uh, it's actually a Cumberland. Uh, it should look quite nice on this pipe. I, I didn't have anything that had that sort of reddish quality to it, so I decided to go with this. And I, I think it'll look. I'm taking time to fix my own pipes, but I'm not going to pay extra for for fancy Cumberland for them because uh, they're they're working pipes. Uh, so I don't smoke them. Anymore. So that's been fun. I've got really getting to actually do some work on my own pipes for a change. Getting this pipe in the mail, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting, interesting project. See how it develops. I might. I'm, I've been thinking about doing a video uh, acrylic stem making because uh, a couple of guys have mentioned problems they're having with acrylic stem. I've got that at least for my use, pretty well worked out. So I thought maybe that would be a useful thing to do. And I believe this pipe is gonna wind up with an acrylic stem. So if, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that in the video uh, or video series just to kind of take you through the steps. That should be fun. I say that about most things. <laughs> So in other news, it snowed today. Uh, not not a lot, but first snow of the year. It's covering the, the lawn. The sidewalks and the streets are completely. Got to see the dogs experience snow again uh, for the first time in a while. One dog looked out the door and said, nah, I ain't going out there. They don't, it's funny, they don't like the cold. They're, their coonhound, which is, I guess, um, I guess it's a southern breed. I mean, they were bred to hunt raccoons that mostly occurred in the south. So they're they're certainly not that half is certainly not a, a cold weather dog. But they're mixed with golden retrievers, and I thought retrievers were, uh, you know, at least in the Labrador retriever is is certainly going to is going to be resistant to cold. So I'm kind of surprised at how Funny these dogs are about the cold. They they, they do go out and it, they don't like the heat either. They they're they're funny. They they like to go out on a cool evening and just lay in the grass and they'll they'll for like hours sometimes. Uh, I've actually had to wake them up a couple of times. Like I'm I'm ready to go to bed and I'm where where are the dogs? And, oh, they're sleeping on the lawn again. Um, but they wake up pretty. Well. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess winter is going to happen. Despite my most ardent wishes that it does not, and I'll be. So I hope you can join us Friday night. Uh, the Game Rod Pipes conversation with pipe smokers is on Friday night at eight p.m. Eastern, and we have my buddy Nick Taylor who 
go, goes by the full smoking bar on YouTube. Uh, he's he's an interesting guy. You're gonna you're gonna enjoy getting to know him a bit better. Uh, good friend of mine, and I'm been chatting with him on the show. So Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Please join us. Well, I'm gonna finish the tiny bit of my brothers that I've got left here. And then I'll probably pack another bowl and get some work done. The work. But I hope you enjoyed the visit. And I will uh, look forward to being with you on, on Friday and then hopefully again on Sunday. So until then, we'll take care.